Connor going through the knee operation up until last weekend, I suppose. But now they're they've been breathing down your necks a bit. Yeah, they've they've um, I think they've won four or five on the bounce, yeah. haven't they? So they they've been playing some good stuff. Uh, in particular, their scrum and line up drive has been really effective, and obviously gave uh, gave the Dragons a, a tough time up front. Um, so uh, you know our, our discipline's got to be spot on not to give them opportunities. Uh, yeah, we're 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 playing at home in four out of the last five. We've got one game of Millennium against the Blues, so um, you know, it's in our hands to to make the top six, and you know we should be we should be um, confident enough in the ability that we got that, that we can do that. <coughs> um, but we have to be better than we were in Glasgow. How were you injury wise? Obviously, a few boys came off the second half. And yeah, we got quite a, quite a long um, injury list. A lot of them are. Superficial, you know, maybe some of them won't keep them out this week. Some will be out for a week. Yeah. We obviously have a down week next week, no game, so we'll probably get quite a few more back for Zebra. Some of the longer term injuries, uh, Steve and Aaron Shingler will be hopefully available for the Zebra not, week. Not season, no. I wouldn't have thought so. No, no. Um, so we've got you've know, got a number that we'll have to leave till probably tomorrow before we make a call on. Some will will probably miss this week and. We should have majority of the squad available, um, barring any injuries this weekend for Zebra in the running. Is Reese in contention this weekend? Yeah. 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 He, he had a knock last weekend, didn't he? Did he uh, miss last weekend? Yeah, no, it was from the uh, the international. Yeah, yeah, he had a dead leg from the Scottish match. Yeah. I mean, obviously, him coming back as well, it's a big boost in terms of what, what he offers. Yeah, um, I think we've. we've uh, We've coped reasonably well while the internationals have been away, but uh, you know the quality that um, the boys coming back in will bring, and, and you know, it was important that we probably had um, only a couple of days training with them last week before before Glasgow, um, and you know this week is is all about you know putting the performance in, having had a bit more time together now after the period that they've been away, and you know the the likes of Reese and John have. Um, you know, have a, a lot of responsibility in terms of performance, but you know, they're they're well able to to lead this team now and and yeah. uh, take us through the last five games. Hopefully, with um, with getting uh, plenty of positives out of the, the the remainder of the season without maybe um, fighting for that top four spot this season. Adds a bit of life to the season, though, Simon. Doesn't yeah, it? obviously you're in the mix, but it adds a bit. You know, otherwise, even it, a bit yeah, I agree, I, and it changes. Yeah, you know, changes a lot. Really, it changes. Um, Beginning of the year, when um, uh, the Irish sides in particular, the players go on tour. Leinster, I think, this season had um, fifteen players unavailable until week three or four, and you know that you know that they they've got a deep enough squad, really a quality enough squad to 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 sort of survive that early setback. But um, you know, it's it's, it's going to make. Every game important, which is great. It's great in the competition. You don't want dead rubbers, uh, and the competition's um, strength will, will come from having to qualify uh, outright for the for the European competition, the top European competition. And I think it's important yeah. uh, for for the standard of the of the competition. Um, you know, and it's I, I think it's a good thing.